The German economy has been crushed after losing in Second World War. Moreover, the country was divided into East and West and reunited only three decades ago. But why is Germany a country that is economically growing, whereas other countries might seem to be a little bit more stagnant? Welcome to Economics Explained and today we will talk about top 10 reasons why Germany is so rich. If you are from Germany, comment down below your thoughts on this video. Germany is a country that works hard. As a matter of fact, the German efficiency is what comes to mind when we think of manufacturing and workforce. Not only do their products last, but the term slow and steady wins the race applies to Germany, because back in 80s and 90s, Germany was criticized for not jumping onto the dot-com and internet bandwagon unlike other countries, and kept focusing more on manufacturing equipment. However, when it comes to Germany, it's their small and medium-sized businesses that offer demanding products that are key to the economy. These small companies manufacture equipment that is built through highly specialized means, making the machines that they build important for the construction purposes. Now, of course, Euro is one of the strongest, if not the strongest currency on the planet. However, if the country did not adopt the Euro during its time, the Deutsche Mark would have become an extremely costly dollar to convert to. And by taking on the Euro, which wasn't as strong as Deutsche Mark, this allowed Germany to sell and export their products at a cheaper price to many countries around the world. Judging by the importance of the foreign trade for gross domestic products, Germany is the most open economy among the G7 states. The foreign trade quota is currently 84.4%, that is the sum of the imports and exports in relation to GDP. In comparison, the USA quota is 26.7%. Germany had labor reforms that strengthened the protection of employees and during this time, while the world had a worldwide recession from the year 2000 and 2003, a government program came in where many Germans were happy to work fewer hours to keep their job and continue working on their skills now. The same program was instituted during the 2008 economic crisis and of course the program is slightly funded by the government to help keep small businesses alive as well. On top of that, their unions have been a great contribution to the country's success and because of all these reasons, it's kept their people working and of course kept all their businesses alive. And as a result, for 2017, their unemployment rate was at 3.6%. Germany is a lucky country, because it's got all the resources it pretty much needs to build the things that it produces. For example, that has a lot of resources like timber, natural gas, coal, uranium, iron and ore. These products into their country, or better yet, they don't have to spend money on a lot of transportation fees. When we think of Germany, we think of German efficiency? When it comes to education, efficiency holds true, as their education is not only free for its citizens, but for international students as well. Many will wonder and ask why and how social system like this works, but Germany understands that working together will make everyone improve, and in 2017, it was ranked third in the world for education. In order to keep your economy working and growing, you need manpower. Germany needs hundreds of thousands of new skilled workers to keep its economy alive. Because as we said, Germany is the fourth largest economy in the world, and it has a slight problems with its demographics. Germany has been struggling with a shortage of skilled workers, especially in technology and skilled trades, catering, logistics, education and nursing. A shortage that some industry associations say is slowing down the economy. So inviting more refugees, skilled migrants and international students is part of the solution. In the future, all these people will be working for Germany and will be making the country better and better. Alright, maybe not always, as Germany already had some problems with refugees they brought to the country. But in most cases, it works like in the US, the UK, Australia, Canada and other countries. It also affects on the social development of German society, as it adds more religion, 
nations, races and communities, which in turn will help the country to develop and grow. The automotive industry in Germany is one of the largest employers in the world, with a labor force of over 857,000 working in the industry. Being home to modern car, the German automobile industry is regarded as the most competitive and innovative in the world, and has the third highest car production in the world and fourth highest total motor vehicle production. BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, Opel, Volkswagen, Audi, Maybach and many others are among the car brands that have been invented and are being produced in Germany. Isn't it crazy? If you do simple math on how much money an average car costs and multiply it by the number of production, you will get a humongous amount of money, which will make any country rich. And they receive this money every year. And these are only companies from car industry we mentioned. Imagine how many other large corporations they have, like Adidas, Puma, Siemens, SAP, Alliance, Deutsche Bank and Bosch. And this list just goes on. Germany is one of the EU founding countries, and it is definitely one of the most important countries in the Union, if not the most. It's a great opportunity for Germany's economy to have such a big united market in Europe, where they can sell their products, attract manpower, purchase goods and commodities, and so on. I mean, look at the neighboring countries, Netherlands, France, Denmark, Austria, not Australia, Luxembourg, Belgium, Poland and Switzerland. These are all tourist destinations to go have a holiday, and all of them are developed countries with market economies, all of them are members of EU and NATO. So Germany is actually benefiting from its geographical location and political unions. Let's be honest here, Germany is strong because of the Cold War between the USA and Soviet Union. Here is why. After the capitulation of Nazi Germany, the Allied powers USA, UK, France and Soviet Union had divided Germany into two countries, Federal Republic of Germany or simply West Germany, which was supported by the USA, UK and France, and German Democratic Republic, backed by the Soviet Union and other communist countries. Since the USA and USSR started to compete in every possible industry, it also affected the development of each Germany. USA started to invest a lot of money into West Germany to repair all of their industries. UK and France have decreased the amount of reparations that were supposed to be paid by Germany after the World War. And they have made Germans their allies against the USSR. Same did Soviet Union. It invested a lot of resources as well, but mostly into military related industries. Well, it's not really called as investment by communists, they call it as a help to the friendly country of East Germany. Similar process was applied to both South and North Koreas, but it's a topic for another video. So this is how Germany repaired and developed the economy after the war and made it even stronger nowadays. These are just some of the reasons why Germany is a very rich and powerful country. There are many other things that make Germany an amazing country, but we just looked at the main reasons. Let us know your opinion about these points in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Dear viewer, you can also write down which country's economy you want to see in the next video. And don't forget to check out our videos about top 10 reasons why Scandinavian countries and Netherlands are rich. I'll see you in the next video.